I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today. I hope that you're either going to have a good day or you have had a good day or you're in the middle of having a good day whenever you watch this. I'm so glad that you join in. We are walking chapter by chapter through the book of Proverbs right now. So you may want to prepare for tomorrow by reading Proverbs 12, but today Proverbs 11. Now one thing that helped me many years ago in interpreting Proverbs and understanding the Proverbs was that we don't want to read these as promises. We want to read the Proverbs as principles. These are life principles. They don't deal always with the complexities of exceptional situations. They don't override people's free will, but they are general principles for living life. And we come today to one of the most powerful principles I know of in Scripture. It's the principle of generosity. Right out of the gate in verse 24 of Proverbs 11, one person gives freely, yet gains even more. What a paradox in life that, you know, that, that by giving away, you somehow gain even more. This is the principle of generosity. It's not economics 101, but it's kingdom of God 101. It says another withholds unduly and comes to poverty. So the, uh, the Proverbs are often built on these parallelisms. One gives freely, gains more. Another withholds unduly and comes to poverty. And so th this is a teaching us a life principle. How do you want to live? Do you want to live in a stingy way or do you want to live in a generous way? The stingy person comes to poverty if not literal poverty, because we know stingy people who don't lose their money. This is, not, this is just a principle in life. The thing is, there's a hollowness to life when we're just living for ourselves and clutch everything for ourselves. But those who give freely, they, they, they gain even more. This is a powerful principle. Jesus said the same thing in Luke 6, 38. He said, give and it will be given to you. And he wasn't just talking about money there. In fact, in the previous verse, he says, judge not and you won't be judged. Don't condemn people and you won't be condemned. And so whatever we pour out of our lives towards other people and towards the kingdom of God is what God then brings back into our lives. Verse 28 of Proverbs 11 goes on to say, those who trust in their riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. So we want to live in righteousness, which means you depend on God and you don't depend on money. Money has this way of being the other God, the competing God, trying to be our security, trying to be our satisfaction. Where Jesus says, I want to be your security and I want to be your satisfaction. And if you trust in riches, you're going to fall. Life is going to end up hollow and empty. Because, uh, you know, God forbid that our value as human beings ever be defined by our investments or our possessions. In fact, the more our life is defined by those, the more we devalue life. And that's why those who trust in riches will fall, but the righteous are gonna thrive. This is what God wants for you to thrive. In fact, he says in verse 30, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and the one who is wise is about the task of saving lives. I love how the New American Standard Version translates that. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise wins souls. This is ultimately what we're to do with everything God's given us. We're steward it, not for ourselves, but we're steward it so that other people can come to know Christ. Whether it be in unreached people groups around the world, or whether it be right in our own neighborhoods, Thank God for generous people who are causing the church of Jesus Christ to be able to move forward with the generosity, with their money, their time, their prayer, their faith, and their hearts. For those who are wise, win souls. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you for this great day. Thank you for your love for us. And thank you for the powerful principle of generosity. When we're generous, you seem to step in. And I pray you'll give us generous hearts and that you will also be our provider. And we pray with everything you've given us, we'll win souls for you. In Jesus' name, amen.